Hello and welcome to another Blues View. Well, we're in the middle of the January transfer window and Birmingham City have got their first signing of this January transfer window, albeit a loan. Uh, I've got joined by Colin Tassum on the phone now. Colin, tell me what's the latest on that, uh, that Bentley move and uh, what's your impression of him so far? Yeah, well, he's joined, confirmed on loan to the end of the season. Um, there's no suggestion yet that there's an option to buy there, but I'm pretty sure Birmingham if all things work out, we'll, we'll look to try and make it permanently. Um, that's getting ahead of ourselves. And the first impressions of, of David Bentley have been very good. He spoke to the media and he was very engaging. He was, he was very humble, but he was also confident but not brash. I mean, people, I think, do have this image of him as been a bit of a, a flash Londoner. But, uh, and he knows that. And, and he says, well, let me just show what I can do on the pitch. And he was, he was talking about having to work hard, fitting into the team ethic at Birmingham, which was a, a good sign, but also that he hopes he can bring um, some of the quality that um, you know we, we have seen and, and that, that he has got. Um, he, he came across very well, and, and I think, you know, on first impressions, uh, which are always important, were very good. He, he's got the right attitude, uh, and I think he's come to Birmingham for the right reasons. And should fans expect to see him play some part in the uh, Second City derby? Um, interesting one. Um, he says he's uh, in good condition, although he hasn't had a lot of competitive football at all this season. Uh, he believes he's, he could go straight in there. Um, my guess, my hunch is that Alex McLeish will probably start him and uh, probably possibly have Sebastian Larson on the bench as reserve if and when he tires. Um, but I think, you know, they've, they've got him in, they've brought him in for a reason, so play him. That's, uh, that would be my opinion. Um, you know, he could, even in 60 minutes, he could do something that ultimately makes a difference between uh, a win, uh, a draw or a defeat. OK, and now moving on to the, um, the, the hunt for a striker, as it were. It's been well documented that Alex McLeish is looking for a striker at the moment. Um, what more do we know about that? Uh, the, the Kenny Miller one is nearing uh, the end game, and it looks that Birmingham are more likely to get him than they were a week ago. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we know he's had uh, pre-contract agreements on the table um, from clubs uh, in Italy and France, but I think uh, Alex McLeish spoke to him the other day, and they've been pushing for a, quite a quick decision, and, and they are, as we speak, uh, and they are very hopeful. So that could come to fruition, as the Robbie Keane one um, died a slow and painful death again. Um, Spurs wanted to make uh, Keane part of the David Bentley deal, but uh, the, the terms and, and the conditions and the fee just wasn't right still for, for Blues. So they, they um, sort of pulled the rug under that one a little bit and made it clear to Spurs that they weren't going to be messed, messed around. Bentley wanted to come to them and they wanted to get that deal done as soon as possible. Um, so although you never say never, you, you don't know where Robbie Keane might end up. He might even be allowed out on loan near the near the window deadline, um, that one seems to be sort of, uh, um, sort of a line has been drawn under it. So at the moment, as we speak, they're looking at Kenny Miller and there may be you know, a, a, another player coming in as well, as, as we've seen that uh, the interest in Charlie Adam is high, but Birmingham are not alone in that respect. You mentioned Charlie Adam there, uh, Colin. Just briefly, there's been some, some quotes flying around from Ian Holloway about him not wanting to let him go. Are Birmingham City still genuinely in the hunt for him? Yes, um, Alex McLeish was asked this, and, and he said, you know, it's not finished, were, it, were his words. But again, it uh, depends how far they are prepared to go, how much they are prepared to play, uh, sorry, pay, um, when there's, there's a whole host of clubs and, and people have already made uh, bigger offers than Blues 2 million so far. Um, the interesting thing for me is that. Um, Charlie Adam obviously played for Alex McLeish. He knows him. He knows some of the players and the backroom staff. Um, my understanding is that, that you know he, he wouldn't be averse to, to going to St Andrews, but uh, I guess you know if he's got so many options, he might even wait until until the summer um, to see where the land lies. So although that one's sort of not dead, I'll just say it's bubbling under at the moment, and I wouldn't necessarily say that Birmingham are favourites to get him. OK, well, um, you were at the press conference where Alex McLeish was talking about some of these matters, and here is what Alex McLeish had to say. So we, we're happy to, to have him here. We, we want to see him resurrecting his career here at Birmingham. He's got great quality, and he is at an age now where I'm sure he's taken stock of the, the last sort of couple of years and in terms of his own future and realised 
you know, it's time for him to, to show the, the the kind of quality and form from a, a player that played for England team. We, we Seb didn't accept his offer, so we felt maybe it was it was better to to see if somebody out there would would offer him what he was looking for. So he, he's, I think Newcastle, well Newcastle made a bid that the club accepted. And I don't think Seb could agree to him. So he's still a Birmingham player, as you saw the other night. I, I didn't hesitate to play him. And uh, second half, not only Seb, but the whole team pulled their socks up. And you saw what he can do. There's not, there's not that many, to be honest. There's not that many being thrown around, as far as I can I can tell. You know, Kenny Miller is, is the one at the moment. Um, we, we've not finalised anything. So we are still talking to Kenny and his agent. Uh, he's not rejected any offers from anywhere else because you know, he, won't, he won't want to do that until he's sure of what he's done. Now those are the thoughts of Alex McLeish. Looking ahead to the game at St Andrews between Villa and Blues, um, how important is it for both clubs that, that they get something out of it? Uh, I think arguably it's more important to Villa. They're, they will be in the bottom three regardless come kick-off time Sunday. And it's a situation whereby they're not actually used to, whereas uh, Blues, Wolves, Albion, teams like that are used to scrapping away down there. They're used to that sort of pressure. It's a different sort of pressure for Villa. So, in many respects, I think it, it, it's, it's a bigger one for them than it is um, for Blues, if that makes sense. Um, but from, from Blues' perspective, you know, they have to get these wins. They have to get some points on the board. And, um, you know, and, and what a win it would be. Um, not just from the uh, accruing more points, but the psychological aspect, if they could uh, edge this derby. It's going to be uh, a fascinating tussle, and I, and I think it, it will be very, very tight where no quarter will be given by either team. OK, Colin, well, thanks for joining us again today. We'll be at that game at St Andrews on Sunday, and we'll be back again next week for all the reaction to that match. 